That concludes our 5 o'clock broadcast regarding the recent Plankville flood. For further information, call or text Walk the Plank to 752-444-6537. Again, that's 752-444-6537. The TCLC Emergency Department wants everyone to, in the Plank County area to remember, if there's high water, tread lightly. Now it's time for a special report about the recent botulism outbreak at Plank Designs. Epidemiologists at TCLC raised the alarm Tuesday when multiple employees at Plank Designs presented to the emergency department with increasingly concerning symptoms. TCLC released a press statement late Wednesday morning warning of a potentially infectious illness with origins unknown. Plank Designs shut down temporarily to avoid a potentially catastrophic epidemic and to allow hospital and county health officials time to investigate. More on that now. The TCLC team and Plank County health officials confirmed a botulism diagnosis on May 5th. The teams promptly launched an investigation into the possible contamination. Officials determined May 7th that the olive oil dressing from a local startup used in the Plank Designs cafeteria was responsible for the outbreak. Recent CCTV footage reveals one Frank Plank spilling a batch of his Frank's own olive oil dressing and scooping it back into a bottle for consumption. Hospitality, care, compassion, love, pre- and postnatal care, elderly, hospice, morgue, funeral services. Here at TCLC, we want patients to feel at home with our excellent patient care teams providing round-the-clock state-of-the-art care to our valued community. Our providers are trained in the latest life-saving practices and we have excellent bedside manners. Register today for our free CPR classes and receive 50% off a cardiac bypass. Come get your TLC at TCLC. Welcome to Rhonda's Funky Fitness, located at the pool when we cannot disclose. But you know the one, hun. We meet every morning at 4.30, you know, before the crowds gather. Don't be late, you might get a free ride. And remember what happens to snitches. Get fit, get funky, and get fresh while exercising with me, Rhonda Plank. Now y'all have a good one. Rhonda's Funky Fitness is not affiliated with the YMCA of Nashville, nor the YMCA in general. By participating in our fitness programs, you assume liability for injuries such as dislocation of hips and other joints, head and neck injuries, and even sudden death, as there is no lifeguard on duty. Heck, you may even face criminal charges such as trespass, breaking and entering, reckless endangerment, and involuntary manslaughter. Come on down to the Plank's Orchards and get yourself a bottle of Frank's own olive oil dressing. It's non-GMO, vegan, dairy-free, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors or sweeteners, and it's good for the soul. And now for exclusive interviews with the Plank Design victims. I'm here with Starling Plank, niece of the assumed responsible party for the outbreak, Frank Plank. Mrs. Plank, what are your thoughts on TCLC and the Plank County Health Department naming your uncle's local olive oil startup as the source of the botulism contamination? I'm real worried, honestly. I love to add all sorts of dressings, like to my salad, and knowing my favorite topman is possibly a villain is so scary. I am deeply disappointed by Uncle Frankly's carelessness when making his dressing. I was under the impression that his space was sanitary and up to requirements. I guess not. Well, thank you for- <laughs> My horse! <laughs> I'm here with one of the victims of the botulism outbreak at Plank Designs. Well, I was born in Plankville, and I live in Plankville, and I'll, I'll probably die in Plankville. It hurts me to know that one bad apple can taint our reputation with their disgusting business practices. My wife made me eat one of them their salads, you know what, with my diabetes and all. So I smothered that ungodly mess of greets. 
when my best friend Frank's, uh, when Daryl, uh, oh sh <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, sir, can you tell me about your experience with botulism? My eyes weren't working right. I was seeing, seeing double. I could barely get out of bed to feed the hogs in the morning. And that concludes this interview. Thank you. Now back to Agatha in the studio. Tell me, Dr. Demiology, how did the TCLC and the Plank County Health Department teams identify botulism as the culprit? Our Disease Outbreak Response Team, or DART for short, here at TCLC Memorial Hospital has recently been tasked with investigating the sudden outbreak of botulism within Plankville. What symptoms should the citizens of Plankville watch out for as possible indicators of botulism? That's the challenging aspect. Botulism can masquerade as the symptoms of other illnesses, and even those of pre-existing conditions, which makes diagnosing it that much more difficult. But in general, botulism presents with blurred or double vision, muscle weakness, significant fatigue, as well as numbness or tingling in the extremities. You may recognize these symptoms because they are most commonly associated with multiple sclerosis. Elaborating on that, you mentioned that it was difficult diagnosing botulism, that it can mimic other diseases like MS. How did you determine those symptoms were botulism and not something else? We compiled the patient's symptoms into a single location, noting the symptoms patients had in common. If three or more patients presented with the same or closely related symptom, it was considered a commonality. The symptoms shared only by one or two patients were considered uncommon. Additionally, if a symptom could be explained by a pre-existing condition, it was excluded. Symptoms that were unique to a single person or could not be explained were labeled as outliers. However, we made a point to keep track of these symptoms because they were all still concerning. And now we have Dr. Hoffmeister, an expert researcher from Planck University, to speak on this outbreak. Should the citizens of Plankville be concerned about contracting botulism, Dr. Hoffmeister? Is this a disease prevalent in their everyday lives? No, botulism is actually quite rare. There are only an estimated 110 cases reported each year in the U.S. It's typically a foodborne illness resulting from the ingestion of a neurotoxin produced by the Clostridium botulinum bacteria. The toxin itself lives on the exterior of the bacteria, protecting it from undesirable living conditions. How does one come in contact with the Clostridium botulinum bacteria? The bacteria is naturally found in soil and marine sediments, therefore someone could contract botulism through contact with contaminated water sources, consuming foods grown in contaminated soil, or in the case of infants, digesting honey. What laboratory tests are conducted to determine the presence of botulism? First and foremost, we conduct a normal tensilin test to rule out the possibility of myasthenia gravis. Then we perform routine laboratory stool and serum sample tests to confirm the presence of the botulism toxin. Botulism, oh so deadly, a disease that can leave us unsafe. Caused by ah. toxins so potent and strong, it can make our ah. so fortunate. Yeah, yo. Foods that's been improperly preserved to wounds that haven't healed deserve. Botulism can rear its ugly head and leave us fighting for a life in our bed. But fear not, for science is found in the toxins that can turn it all around. With care and caution, we can avoid the dangers of botulism oh so avoid. So always be careful and aware of the foods that you choose to prepare. Botulism will always remember stay safe when it comes to dinner in a hospital. Stay Start. Hey, join me in a hospital. Get her in the green screen. <laughs> That's some unmanaged. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 <